And then you get into the whole cliche of just be a good person and just be a good Samaritan and just, I don't know, donate money to charity. And that, again, doesn't seem like a valid point. I mean, okay, I donate my money to charity. Does that make me a good person forever now? Or did I live a good life? I can just fucking die right there. And I get these thoughts often. And I think of suicide quite often, you know, just ending it all. But that doesn't seem to be an option, too. I mean, we have been put on this planet or each of us has been born for some reason or I guess there is no reason, but that doesn't mean that we should just directly kill ourselves, right? And there seem to be no coherent answers, as I mentioned, you know, nobody really has put forth something that can create. And I think that to a certain extent, life doesn't really have a meaning. Or there is no good life and bad life. There is just life. And there are good actions and bad actions you do throughout your life. But you can't judge life based on that. You can't say that a person who has manipulated and cheated his way. And you know being distrustful to people. And being purposefully bad. That he's a, he has lived a bad life or something. I think that as we progress as a society. And as we progress everybody the terms good and bad, the definition of good and evil, the good old struggle of these two forces gets more uh, unclear and, it, and, and, and you cannot even at some point recognize what's good and what's evil. So you see people start to cling to all different ideals. As I mentioned, you know, with the clean living kings, another example is a uh, consume product, another subreddit that I recently spent too much time on. You know, they're all about not spending money on anything and just not mindlessly consuming but as a person who mindlessly consumes living a bad life indeed i mean why do you need to keep up with the kardashians in a way uh, of having some moral virtue of having something like that do you need a moral virtue to live a good life some say yes some say no some say just be yourself but being yourself is so hard i guess because Nobody really knows what that means. It's a big phrase used by companies at this point. So what does it really mean to live? What does it mean to have a good life? Does it mean to enjoy things just casually? You know, just enjoying a walk in the park, enjoying that you can wake up in the morning, that you have the right to wake up in the morning, uh, being thankful for the things you have. I guess those certainly help. But then you have to ask yourself, because death is inevitable. We are all going to die at some point. And it's mainly because of the decay in our bodies, in a way. But I also like to think that it's also because of the decay of our minds. And to a certain extent, death saves us from this ultimate thing. Right? Because think about it. You can do whatever the fuck you want. And you're going to die. There is no way you're gonna cheat death so you can uh, you can pretty much do anything really anything like think of the worst thing you could do you could do it right now and and of course there would be consequences but you're gonna die so who cares and you could say that you're harming other people and you're making their lives more miserable okay but but to many individuals it doesn't seem to matter I mean, there are people who don't purposefully go around and hurt people. And, of course, there are people who try not to do that even on a subconscious level or even a conscious one. But does that mean they're living a good life? Does that mean there are their life is somehow better? Because if you say that it's a good life, therefore there must be a bad life. And therefore the good life must be better than the bad life. That's quite obvious. And the question that you have to put forward or that you have to think about is whether there is such distinction whether you can make such a distinction whether you can say that a certain life is more worth it or more um, or better than a second life i do believe that individuals in themselves secretly or i like to use the word subconsciously to seem smart uh, know what they're doing and they do know what is good and what is bad based on some premises but to a certain extent you have to ask how much of that has been influenced by our society? Because that's quite a big influencer, right? And second of all, family. 
people pick, pick their care uh, sorry people pick their carriers uh, carriers ca careers sorry I'm not a native speaker so yeah uh, people pick their careers based on family people pick their entire lives based on family even the entire like uh, Maslow's pyramid of needs is sort of adjusted to the society to a certain extent and I've recently had a talk with a friend who studies uh, psychology and he told me Maslow's pyramid of needs is one of the like few things that all phil uh, psychologists sort of accept or the vocal majority or something right and it's the one thing that people can agree on but you have to ask yourself to what extent does the Maslow's pyramid of needs adapt to the societal sort of expectations, family expectations, friend expectations, our expectations. That's quite a big one. You know, you expect yourself to be great. You expect yourself to be successful and have a metric to measure it by. And therefore, you adapt your entire life to that metric and to your own somehow uh, self-worth in a way, right? And, you know, you, you climb the ladder, you find a nice trad wife, you have a couple of kids, and then, then it's time to become an individual. And many people, upon maybe reaching that point, start to feel like they have been cheated. You see this in midlife crisis, for example. People, people try to be this model citizen, model individual, and suddenly when they're 40, they realize they amounted to nothing. But do you have to amount to something? I, I mean, do, do, do you need to create? Do you need to do something? Many people do create because it makes them feel good. Not because society cares, not because nobody cares. I've heard people who write poetry just for the sake of writing poetry. There is no point in for them or no like monetary input, they just write it. Are they somehow living a worse life than a guy who earns money doing this or a guy who monetizes his craft or a guy who is a famous poet? Are they somehow worse off? And you have to ask yourself these questions. You have to consider them and really think about them. And I don't think, I don't want to sound too cynical, but I don't think there is an answer. I don't think there is a definite answer. I don't think there is a good life, bad life. I don't think there is that distinction to be made. I don't think you can make such a point. And therefore, well, I won't provide you with an answer, I guess, but... It all comes down, I guess, to what you want to do with your life. But you start doing that and many people start to like come in and tell you like, oh, you can't do that because, oh, that's not a good life. Well, oh, you're living this and that. It's hard. No, Nobody, I think, really understands how hard it is to just live, and to just not really, and to just think about it. To just think about the fact that we are indeed living, that we are indeed breathing, that we are indeed here. And that I am indeed staring into this camera trying to speak my mind. Just the pure ability of doing this, it's quite astonishing, isn't it? I mean, look at how much things we have developed just for me to be able to put this video on the internet. And those people who created them, have they somehow lived a better life than an individual who just abuses it and uses it? I mean, I'm not in any way responsible for all those things that record this video. I'm not, I did not make this computer on which I'm editing and recording this video. I did not make this fucking microphone that I have here. I did not make this t-shirt I have here, not, not even this fucking ring. I, I didn't even make my hair in the morning, right? So uh, you have to ask yourself, like, what is, is it to live? What does it mean? Is there an answer? Is there a conscious answer? And as I mentioned in the beginning, this video maybe is supposed to just get a reaction, get a discussion going, get many different inputs on life and just kind of be there. But I, again, don't think there is another point to living or there is no final goal. And it is scary. It is scary to think about that. It is scary that you will go 70 years or 80 years without really knowing why. You will do stuff without really knowing why. You will achieve stuff that doesn't really matter. I mean, think about it. Do you think Shakespeare really gives a shit that he now he's uh, textbook material and that children are literally forced to read his books? I mean, he's dead. It doesn't really make him alive or anything. And many people will be quirky and say, well, you know, he lives through his literature. But how, but to an individual, it is not really important. It, it won't bring Shakespeare 
back to our world in any way. It won't make his life up there more more bearable, I guess. I, I don't know. I think we would kind of figure out the answer if we knew what comes after death. But I, as most of you know, nobody has been ever returning from death. No, to tell us and to grace us with the knowledge of what happens. Maybe we live another life as the Buddhists believe. Maybe we just go to heaven as or hell as the Christians believe. I don't know what the Muslims and the Jews believe. You know, share your thoughts if you're one of those groups below. And I guess this inability to tell what comes after dying uh, is the thing that kind of forces us to just live without meaning because we don't know what we are striving for what is the final goal all right well and that's supposed to be the video it's supposed to be just me speaking my mind i really needed to speak to something so i spoke to a fucking camera not to feel crazy in this fast fast world and yeah so share your thoughts below on what you believe is a good life. What does it mean to have a good life? Is there a good life? Is there any point to it? And don't be, I guess, too sad about it. It's just going to be there always. and <laughs> You're not going to do much about it. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's about it. I'm going to produce more memes to lighten up the mood in a couple days. I have some few videos that I've been working on, so I guess I'll just do that. And yeah, adios muchachas, my fellow nihilist Nichenians or whatever I said in the beginning. <laughs>